one streak really came to an end. Now I'm working on another train unit. Oh goodness. Let's see what's going on with this one. See they're getting some issues with their cooling. This is a two-stage unit here. Oh, got our EV board. It does have the electronic valve in it, heat pump, and the defrost board, and a little staging rectifier for our compressor, capacitor, contactor. And then that's our suction pressure transducer harness there. It goes back to the suction pressure transducer on the suction line. And we got a fault code flashing. What is that? Solid on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hold on, did it flash more? Hold on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. Four and nine. Okay, so we got a fault code of four and nine on there. And let's see, four right there. Suction temperature sensor input is out of range. And nine. Low superheat in cooling mode. Indoor TXV stuck open or indoor fan failure. Hmm. I don't necessarily know how the suction line sensor would affect the indoor. I mean, it's more of a heat mode operation thing. It does use it with the transducer to monitor and regulate measure superheat on this thing for the, the heat mode and we've had some cool nights and they have ran this thing in heating so but it says in cool mode so let's let's check this sensor should be a book here i'll have to get this door off We may have to crawl under the house and check those sensors as well. But let's check this one first. So it's right here. Let me get a temperature probe out. Then. And measure the suction line actual temperature where this sensor is connected at. And check this and see if it's actually reading in range or out of range. Telling me my suction line down there is 69.2 degrees. So we're going to see what the sensor is telling us. First, let's get the book out and see what our DC voltage reading should be on this sensor at 69 degrees. Suction line temperature sensor right here, so it's 69 degrees. 70 I should be getting about 1.61 volts DC so let's see what I'm actually getting
So. We are getting 0.26 volts DC. And the chart stops at 0.38, which is 150 degrees. It should be reading about right there with 70 degrees is reading at 1.61. So this thing is definitely reading out of range. And I do believe I have one of those on the truck. Let me go check. Alrighty, so I do have one. So let's get it hooked up and see what happens. Swap this thing out. Needle probes off. giving me that fault where I was talking about the superheat and cool mode, low superheat and cool mode. We shouldn't have a problem indoors. This is not a communicating system, so if it was a problem indoors, it wouldn't be communicating that fault back out here. So it's probably the system is running a low superheat in cool mode. If this is affecting it, this valve not opening back up in the proper location or operating properly from having this bad sensor could be offsetting our refrigerant circuit problem. Uh, I have seen that before. So let's stick the new one in real quick. Get this plugged up. This old one unsnapped. here and we'll get that snap back on our line and we'll give it a few seconds to zero in on the right temperature so there's our nine flash You can see now we're back to our nine flash but our four flash has gone away so that was nine flashes then it's going to flash nine times again so now that once i change that sensor that four flash saying that that sensor was out of range has gone away we will confirm that by getting another dc measurement But you can now see this is 1.6 volts DC instead of 0.26. And according to our chart right here, he's got the sprinklers going out here. It's like 68 degrees. We've had 12 inches of rain this month. And for whatever reason, he feels like he needs to water his grass. Anyway. So right there, we're reading a temperature on that suction line of 69.5, which is basically 70, 70, 1.61 volts. And we are at 1.61, 1.6 volts. So I am going to clear the faults on this board by simply Disconnecting the power to it and letting it reset. Hopefully, that'll clear that fault out. We'll see. And that thing's resetting. What is it saying? I thought that would clear it. I guess I need to turn it on and run it. 
and let it get a new superheat check on it. I'm going to check the transducer real quick just to be sure because they have also been issues. Make sure it's reading the right temperatures. A little wobbly here. the black and the white rating 2.5 and something pressure transducer 2.5 is telling me that we should have a standing pressure on this thing around 195 psi Let's see what our standing pressure is Got a little black cap with no o-ring in it. So let's turn this on, which probably explains a little bit of the oil residue that I've got here. So our standing pressure was 199, and what I was getting from that transducer was telling me 198. So our transducer is operating properly. I don't know if this one does the same thing that the air handler does. If you've got a short, you're closed and test pins together to clear the fault codes out. Let's try it for 10 seconds. See if that works. Yes, it did. So our fault codes are cleared. So whenever you get a fault code flashing on one of these that doesn't clear with the repair, short your your test and closed pins where you do your open and test and uh, open test and closed test when you're testing this to see if it fully opens and fully closes. Just take a little screwdriver and short your close and test pins together for about 10, 15 seconds, and it'll clear that fault. So now let's go in there and turn it on. <coughs> All right, so I got this thing back on and running, and I just this that drives me bonkers. People that don't look at caps to see if the O-ring's in there, and just grab some new caps. If you got them? I don't know. I just that's one of my little pet peeves because these these things leak refrigerant. And there's a reason for the O-ring to be in there. And it, it just, I don't know, the simple things. So I got it running and cooling. I'm going to let it run this way for just a little bit. Check that charge. i got to wait for that blower motor to ramp up. Fault code's going away. Then I'm going to switch it into heat, make sure it runs okay in heat. And, uh everything I think is gonna be okay just a sensor guys this little these little things cause big problems and the majority of the problems with a lot of this equipment are the little things like sensors and caps with no o-rings so anyway let's gonna wind this one up guys appreciate you watching like subscribe and uh, 20,000 subscribers I am I'm 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 17 I have to go back and look 16,700 or something like, I don't know I get to 20,000 subscribers I'm gonna give away a set of gauges get people to watch get people to like and share and uh, I get up to uh, get up to 20,000 subscribers I'll give a set of give away a set of gauges. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next one.